when I left school about 40 years ago. Um, we were a high input farm using um, more fertilisers and uh, super and urea and that. We, we never really got into using sprays, chemicals in that regard. And, but we had lots of animal health problems with the cows. After a lot of thought that there's, there's got to be another way of doing this, so we decided to um, firstly stop using super altogether, which was a, a big step. As time went on, we slowly we noticed the changes and um, the animal health problems started to disappear. There's lots of things that we've learned over the years and the two main things are this ground cover and a bit of soil disturbance. It's really important in my opinion to have a, a very diverse uh, pasture. It doesn't really matter what, what plant it is in my opinion because every plant is, grows for a reason. What, what's a weed to, to one person is not necessarily a weed to somebody else. Feels pretty, pretty good actually. Um, I've, I've al always been, um, if you like, curious about things. And the more you sort of study or think about or nature and, and get out on your hands and knees and, and have, a, have a look, a smell and a feel, You've got to use all your all your senses and, and um, to really get a feeling of, of what's happening. It's something that you develop with time, really. You'll ne never stop learning. If I if I knew what I know today, I'd um, you know who knows <laughs> what what would happen. But um, as as time goes by, you you sort of you learn more and more. Every day you're learning something different.